Welcome! In this tutorial, I will guide you how you can easily use Nimble. Nimble is amazing CRM software that you can use. And let me just show you uh, what you can achieve with it. Now, the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to show you how we can create an account and then we will continue. If you already own the account, guys, completely skip this step. So I'll click here, try Nimble free. And let's just, let's just wait until it loads and then we will continue. And here we go. So now first thing first, we need to add a password. So I will add a password right here. First name, Marcus Tonelius, company name. What best describe your occupation? I'm a solo entrepreneur, consultant, uh, just me. What not two and five people? What do you hope to accomplish? Manage day-to-day -day engagement. Let's press continue. You just like feel everything here. Right here, uh, Nimble works everywhere you work while get started by connecting your inbox and calendar. So you can connect simple Gmail or a G Suite. Skip for now. Take Nimble with your, everywhere you work. And I can simply click install Chrome Nimble extension. If you want to, you can do it. And let's, let's click here, start nimbling. Now, the first thing that I would recommend to do is go step by step and uh, we can go continue setup right here. And you would get here. So when I would click on today and I'm going to click continue setup, you would get all the onboarding steps. And I'm going to show you what you can achieve with it and how we can use it. So the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to click on today. And in today, you would find everything what is happening from the signals from the tasks from the onboarding checks and everything contact funnels even so imagine this this is like the dashboard what you can actually get from nimble now the next thing that i'm going to show you is how we can step by step use contacts and how we can create contacts in nimble so you would click here on the contacts and welcome to context. Okay. You can search. Uh, you can have the access. Okay. You can organize it by tags and segments and then click next and you can manage them. Understood. So on the left side, you would find all the contact lists, uh, from the all contacts, the people, companies that are here marked, which are going to be important and recently viewed, recently added, recently contacted, stayed in touch and remove contacts. So what you can do is to simply first add a company. That's how we are going to start. Company name, let's say Sun Company. You're going to see that on the top left, you're going to have the owner. And you can be shared with anyone. Sun Company domain, if you have one added here and email phone. You can also add it on the bottom left to lead pipeline and have it as lead pipeline here. So email, if you want to, you can add it. So this is a sound company and I'm going to click save here. Now, when I have it, you can directly everything do about uh, in the company. You can add a person to this company, but we are going through the contacts and we will be adding the person uh, in the company through the contacts. But of course you would find the interactions here. So, you can lock activity, but we will be also, I will show you how you can use the activity directly in activities, schedule message add a deal. And I will show you how you can also deals for this company. And then we will, when we will be adding a deal, we could find it right here. And you would find data fields that you can add email, phone number, Skype ID, address, URL description. I'm not really going to fill it right here because this is based on what kind of a company you're going to create and how much information you actually have about the company. So fill it right here, LinkedIn contacts, if you're going to have it right here, social integrations and files. So right now I'm going to click on the contacts again. And next to the add a company, I'm going to click add a person. So right here, I would add first name, Marcus, employee, Marcus contact. You can upload the photo company.
Sun Company. Look at this. It actually it automatically searches for the company in your co uh, company list that you have. You can have it as a primary company. And then you're going to have the date or time period and you would add an email address right here. So we can have Sun uh, email address gmail.com and to work. Then I can continue editing on click save. So I would click save here. And again, this looks really similar, of course, when you would be having as a company. So on the left side, you can add a note. You can lock activity, task, even call custom activity. I will show you how to do that. You can, of course, uh, schedule it. You can send it as a message and add a deal. I will show you how you can do everything. And of course, that's a present company as employment right here, the Sun company. And that's pretty much it. Again, it's similar comparing to the companies. You can find the fields here, company information and everything. Integrations for it. And yeah, so current Sun company, when I would click on it, I would see it right here that I can see that is this two tags. I can have lead fields here. And if and one employee linked, and this is the employee that we have actually linked in Sun Company. So when we have the contacts, the next thing are leads. Now, if if you don't didn't understand anything about contacts, let me down below in the comments, and I'm really happy to explain it better. So leads right here, uh, you can see that you see the pipeline, and you can simply add a lead. So I would add owner is me, share with everyone. You can change that. First name would be Marcus Lead. Company, if I have one, I'm going to Sun Company is going to be lead. And now lead pipeline. So lead pipeline, new leads pipeline. Of course, you can change that in settings. And lead stage, if it's going to be reviewed leads, attempting contact, connected, qualified. And again, you can add an email and everything. So then I'm going to click next to the continue editing save. And voila, here we have it. Now I can simply move it. Exit successful or exit unsuccessful. You can have it connected. See, qualified. You can move it as much as you want. You can configure lead fields on the right side. You can set up the settings on the top right. And you can add a new pipeline and edit the pipelines right here. So when I'm going to click on a new leads pipeline, I can edit the stages here. So I can click here, edit the stages and I can add multiple stages or change the name of the existing stages right here. So this is pretty much it how we do it when I'm going to click on the leads again. Um, again, I can choose between new leads, reviewed leads, attempting contact. And let's say this is going to be exit successful. Voila. Lead, uh, you just moved in a successful stage. And look at this. Here we have recently viewed all contacts. Here it is. And then you always have the lead type that you can change in the contacts and in the filters. So this is pretty much it how we can work with leads. It's nothing really that hard to understand. Again, if you're gonna have any questions about the leads, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you provide some guidance, etc. So uh, that's pretty much it. Now, the next thing are signals. You need to have uh, connected Twitter with it. Messages. You need to set up your messages. And you're going to see you can connect calendar and Gmail and then you're able to do it. I'm not really going to focus on messages and group messages in this video, but if you want me to, I could do it and create a new one, how we can work with messages and group messages, because I need to like set it up. It's nothing that really hard. You can connect email and contact right here or Microsoft 365. And then you will be able to um, just message to people. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you are deals. And then we will go to the last thing and that's activities. So how the deals work and what you can achieve with the deals. Here, I can simply go on the top left, new deal. And now enter a deal name. Deal name is going to be, let's say, um, 
some deal for YouTube channel. Person or company, let's say this is going to be a Sun company. Participants, you can add a contact, Marcus contact or Marcus lead. You can add also multiple participants. You can add amount, let's say this is going to be $10,000. Date, let's say September 3rd. Assign to Marcus Tonelius. Privacy, if it's going to be public or public view only view edit. And pipeline, which pipeline is going to be opportunities that we have. You can, of course, again, change the and customize the pipeline in the settings. And then you have option to change the stage here. So if it's going to be qualification, decision makers, needs analysis, value proposition, quote, negotiation. So I'm going to have it as qualification or decision maker, let's say. And then I would click save. Right here, we have it. So in your deal, you would be able to find the pipeline, the stage here, then all the messages, the activities, what is happening for your deal, the notes and the attachments. Of course, on the right side, you would find the contacts involved in this deal. You would have a Sun company or Marcus contact as yourself. And when I'm going to click on our deals again, I can simply see and find my deal right here. Of course, you can take it and move it where you want. And you can close the deal where your proposition quote negotiation. So you're going to see plenty of stuff that you can achieve with it. And then next to the export to CSV, you're going to see the customized pipeline. When you're going to click on the customized pipeline, you can simply choose and switch between amount ranges here. And then you see the deals pipeline opportunities and you see the limits of days in the stage. And let's say I'm going to click on the value proposition and I can edit it and change the name and the days. And of course you can add the stage here and you can move like you can move the stage name. See, so when I'm going to have a value proposition at last, back to pipeline and I will click on the deals. See value proposition is last as we figured it out. And this is pretty much it how the deals work. What you can do then is to simply take it, say a deal and just add it to close deal. Did you win or lose the deal? Win. Amount, let's say this could be $5,000 and actually close date is today. Perfection. Save. And this is pretty much it. Sun deal for YouTube channel has been closed and this is how we do it. Now let me show you how we can work with activities and how we can add tasks, calls, etc. And it's also quite simple to do. So I would next to the deals, I would click activities and here in activity. So let's say you're going to have days here. So um, you're going to have like Tuesday today or Wednesday and you can add activity, let's say for September. And now you have option to add a task. You have option to add an event or a call or custom activity. Now when I'm going to click on the event, it's always going to change. So task name, let's say this would be, I'll have a lunch, lunch with a client. You can also change the due date and the, of the dates here related contacts, related deals. So contacts, let's say this would be Marcus, Marcus contact. If I would have a deal, I could easily edit right here and I can add a tax. This is now I can simply click save. Of course, I can add uh, multiple activities. I can simply add new activity right here. Or like all on top left, add activity and then event. Let's say even name, uh, lunch in evening, calendar, which calendar are you going to use it for, location, let's say office today at 7 p.m. Guests is going to be Marcus, but this is going to be Marcus contact and related deals. If I would have a deal, I would have it right here and you have can have also repetition. 
Let's click save. And as you can see, I'm going to have it for today, August 1st. But let's say I want to create for September 2 a call. So I would go to the top left. Let's click here, add activity. Then I can simply click on a call on the 13th. And I can choose a call name. Let's say it's going to be Marcus. Marcus contact. Our uh, recipient's name. Marcus lead. Phone number. I would add my own. They would have for this recipient's name, description, uh, duration, or let's say 30 minutes for Thursday. And then core resolution assigned to related deals, tax, click save. And voila, as you can see, we're going to see the for the September 2 our activities for Wednesday for today. So this is how we can add tasks. This is also how we can add events and how we can simply add a call. So then you're going to see the deals and reports. This is the last thing that I'm going to show you. In reports, you would find all the necessary and important reports that you can find about what is actually happening. And yep. So this is pretty much it how we can do it. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some uh, question and guidance. You know how it goes, you know how it is. And you can find multiple reports. This was a Nimble tutorial, how to use Nimble, Nimble Beginner's Guide, Nimble tutorial. And yeah. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.